Hi friends, welcome to SSCJ Electrical. Just now SSCJ 2020 notification released and the starting date for applying for this exam is October 1. For October 1 to October 30, you can apply for this exam. So, application already opened, you can check from the official website and I will show you. And the last date for applying for this exam is October 30. Okay, the exam will be conducted on a 22nd March 2021 to March 25, 2021. So, this is the examination date. So, enough time is there for preparation and for paper to conventional type it is and the exam date not given and it will be notified later. And if we go through the notification here, the notification is regarding Juni engineering post and civil, electrical and mechanical branch people are eligible for applying for this exam. And what is the eligibility criteria you see? Now, what is the educational qualification required for this is? You can see here. You can see here. For junior engineering, civil post, the qualification required is degree in civil engineering that is B.Tech in civil engineering or 3 year diploma in civil engineering. So, this is a uh, main required qualification whether the person is diploma in civil engineering or B.Tech in civil engineering is a required qualification for applying for this junior engineering exam in civil. For junior engineering exam electrical and mechanical the qualification required for this is degree in electrical or mechanical engineering that is B.Tech in electrical or mechanical engineering or 3 year diploma in electrical or mechanical. So, 3 year diploma in electrical mechanical is a required qualification for applying for this exam and the minimum qualification here is diploma. So, maximum qualification is a degree that is B.Tech okay. and M.Tech candidates also can apply no problem, but minimum qualification is diploma here. Okay. For junior engineering civil for CPWD for CPWD the qualification required is diploma in civil engineering from recognized university or inst institute that is diploma in civil engineering is required of qualification for junior engineering CPWD post. And for junior engineering electrical for CPWD post diploma in electrical or mechanical engineering is required qualification. So, for CPWD the minimum qualification required for this is diploma in electrical or mechanical engineering. This is the uh, education qualification required for applying for this SSCG exam. And if we go through the notification you can see So, age limit as on Jan 1st 2021 uh, as per this date the age limit given here for junior engineering civil the age limit is 30 years for junior engineering electrical and mechanical the age limit is 30 years for junior engineering civil up to 32 years age limit is given and for junior engineering electrical for CPWD post up to 32 years and remaining you can see and in the same way uh, these age limits for open category and for reservations uh, this is age relaxation given for SC and ST candidates 5 years age relaxation is there okay. and for OBC 3 years age limit that is 3 years relaxation is there for persons with disability 10 years and that is for person with disability plus OBC. 13 years age relaxation is there and that is for person with disability plus SC or ST candidates 15 years uh, relaxation for uh, upper age limit is given. Okay. So, this is regarding age limit and, and the eligibility uh, criteria for applying for this SSCG exam and few more important points can be discussed from the notification. So, essential educational qualification this already discussed So, 
so how to apply for this exam the official website for this uh, applying for this exam is ssc.nic.in this is a official website this is the official website and here uh, one important notice recently uploaded in the official website regarding this that is 20 kb to 50 kb the photo should be the online application candidate required to upload a scanned color photo size photograph in jpg format so the photo should be in jpg format that is from 20 kb to 50 kb size and the photograph should not be more than three months old from the date of publication of the notice of the examination so it should not be uh, before three months the notification released on this uh, october 1st no so it should not be before three months from the date and application without such date printed on the photograph will be rejected very very important here applications without such date printed on the photograph will be rejected so uh, you should take care of that okay the photograph uh, taken date also you need to uh, it should be there below the uh, photo while uploading okay the fees is 100 rupees only okay and how to apply for this exam also i will show you just to wait a minute and scheme of examination here the paper one is uh, objective type that is computer based examination and paper two is a descriptive type that is conventional type and paper one contains see here paper one contains uh, total 200 marks it is for 200 marks two hours time limit that is 120 minutes 200 questions we need to answer uh, in this paper one there is a, a three sections that is one technical and another one is non-technical uh, this is regarding technical that is uh, part a general engineering civil or structural you can take any one part he will be uh, considered that is for general engineering electrical or general engineering mechanical so this is one part total and that is this is one section another section is this is non-technical section general intelligence and reasoning general awareness and this section is common for uh, all the branches okay and in this section for general intelligence and reasoning 50 marks uh, 50 questions will be given for regarding general awareness 50 questions will be given from that technical 100 questions will be given okay and in the same way if you see the descriptive for paper to a uh, total 300 marks it is for 300 mark conventional type and two hours time limit will be given okay this is a scheme of examination okay and how to apply for this exam also will be discussed see here and detailed syllabus already discussed in other video you can go through it and how to apply for this exam see here see here this is a uh, official website just now notification released okay so how to apply for this exam see here after typing ssc.nic.in in google search and you will be directed to this website after that click on the apply in the apply a recent notification applications directly you can apply through this link click on apply and then cgl chsl steno cnd and je so you need to click on je in the je sections uh, whatever the recent links will be appear here and recently activated link is sscj notification uh, sscj 2020 notification activated so apply will be there here so if you click on apply it will show you please log in to apply for this exam okay you need to log in you can't directly apply for this exam before that you need to have a login credentials you need to register before that okay so click ok and in home page you can see that how to apply for this in the home page right side login option will be there in the login you can see here user id and password will be asked right side user id and password will be asked and if you have applied for sscj exam recently and before year last year before last two years 
before 3 years if you apply if you once register the data will be stored and if you simply enter that register registration number and forget password you will get the uh, password whatever that you have set at the time it will ask you to uh, reset your password okay see here this is the username that is registration number and password okay and if you have forgot password for example uh, if you have applied previously for them i am just explaining if you are new user also i will tell you okay if you have forgot your uh, previous password you have to click on right side right side of this page uh, forgot password will be there you have to click on the forget password and there it will be ask you and your belongs to which state it will be ask you uh, if you for example if you belongs to andhra pradesh state and you need to enter email id or mobile number so if you have forgot which kind of what uh, which email you have given at the time if you have forgot simply you can enter your mobile number here and click on submit so if you enter mobile number click on submit and then you will get some otp to your mobile number so after entering mobile number, if you submit now you will get otp and after entering that otp id it will ask you to set your password so you can enter your new password uh, to reset your details and there it will show you whatever the email id at that time you have given that also will it will show and the registration number also will be shown there uh, with that uh, registration number and password you can directly log in for example if you are new user you have not registered previously if you are applying first time for this sscg exam then what you need to do is in this home page right side new user option will be given new user that's not appearing here sorry for that right side new user option will be the given before log below the login and there uh, basic details will be asked basic details will be asked and there do you have a other it will ask you almost everyone will have other and if you don't want to reveal your other details here you can uh, by clicking on no you can enter the remaining details so type of id proof you are going to uh, add here all the details you can fill here id number name verify name have you ever uh, change in name new name change in name father name everything it will be asked mostly everyone will have other so if you click on yes yes you can directly add your other number here after that uh, you can after entering the same other number it will be verified and type of id proof that you are attaching uh, it will be asked after that and id number you need to enter name and whatever the star mark is there those are the mandated um, mandatory fields and remaining which are not no star mark is not there no here uh, you can left those name mandatory field so you need to fill it verify the name have you ever changed the name it will ask you yes or no you can tick that accordingly father name uh, mother name verify mother name date of birth everything it will be asked you need to uh, fill all the details and at the end gender verify gender level of education mobile number so everything all these details it will ask you and then finally you need to click on save so after that it will ask you few more details after filling all the details and final and photo and signature uh, it will ask you to upload and photo and signature in the photo uh, the date of photo taken also should be there don't forget it date of photo taken should be there it should be uh, before the 3 months before the 3 it should be before the 3 months uh, from the notification date that is and after adding photo and signature you will be successfully registered for this so you will get a registration number and password with that uh, login credentials if you log in application will be open so so after getting your login credentials you need to click on apply and you need to go to je and there it will ask you apply so please log in to apply for this exam here i haven't logged so it will ask you login if you log if you have once login no if you have once uh, login then you can directly enter your login details here so after entering the login details uh, user id and password and you can directly click on apply for ccg exam it will be directly open the application so there you can fill the all the details okay hope you understood so if you are getting any doubt you can ask in comments i will explain you i will clarify your doubts if you are getting anything and the exam for this sscge 2020 exam will be from march 22 to 25 in 2021 
so that is the examination date for this the application is from open from october 1 to october 30 so this is regarding sscj notification sscj 2020 notification so if you are first time watching this video please like this video and share this video with your friends thank you